Welcome back, Vipers. These are the Viper updates for the second week of the first semester. Hope everybody had a great first week of school. We're in the, the thick of things now, so lots of info to share. And thank you for joining us and viewing these updates as well. As a reminder, we will share out a Viper update every Sunday. Uh, these weekly updates will include school info and event details. We always send them out through the Remind app, and we typically include uh, a video update, uh, which will have this recording. Uh, you'll also have the slides if you just want to view the slides, and then any additional links that we may need to, to share with families and students. All students, staff, and parents receive these updates each week. Okay, on to the info. Just a reminder that this year, IDs are required to be worn at all times, and we will begin enforcing this this week. This is for staff and students. We will provide all students with a lanyard during advisory on Monday, August 15th. So right after advisory, that is when the requirement of wearing the ID badges will begin. Students and staff need to have their ID badge on the front of their body so that it is visible at all times. And this is a safety initiative taking place across the district so that we know who is supposed to be on our campus at all times. So thank you for helping us keep our building safe, Vipers. IDs can be replaced in the bookstore for $2. We can print and hand it off to the student uh, right away. And if you need a, uh, an additional lanyard, you can buy those in the bookstore for $3. Course schedule changes. We've been working frantically. Our counseling staff has been outstanding, but we've been getting students enrolled throughout this first week and getting them into classes. And now we're beginning the process of addressing course change requests. The form to submit a course change request closed on Friday, August 12 at 5 p.m. Counselors will now continue to call students out of classes to meet individually with their counselor so that they can discuss the course change requests. And that'll be taking place throughout this week. Counselors will also be working on balancing class sizes this week as well. So we're confident that by the end of this week, all course changes will be taken care of and schedules will be locked moving forward. So again, we appreciate your patience as our counselors are working with almost 1,900 students this year in order to get schedules to be exactly what the students want them to be. So thank you, counselors. Parking updates. Reminder that students, you need a parking pass to park at Verado High School. Parking passes can be purchased in the bookstore at a rate of $50. Students, you get to select your spot and that will be your spot for the entire school year. Purchase spots are marked in the parking lot with an R next to the parking spot number. Students, we do ask that you park in your purchased parking spot. Make sure that you're not parking in somebody else's spot or in a reserved spot. And students, if somebody is in your spot, especially as we're working through these first uh, early week um, you know, changes, but if someone's in your spot, just go to a different spot that is not reserved at this time. We do still have some unassigned spots in the parking lot. So students, if you're a driver, get your pass quick because the parking lot is filling up. And as a reminder, students, you are parking in that yellow student lot. The west parking lot is for students. Our West Mech students will park in this north lot, and then otherwise staff parks in the middle and uh, staff and visitors also here in this southeastern lot. But again, our students will be in the west lot unless you are a West Mech student and then you're in the north lot. Please do not park in the surrounding neighborhoods or business areas. Your vehicle will be towed. Pickup and drop off has been looking great on the east and the west lots at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. So thank you everybody for your patience as we've been uh, working out the, the bugs in uh, this process. But each day has looked a lot better. Just remember to keep moving forward as far as you can before you stop to either drop off your student or to pick up your student as this decreases any backing up of the lines. So thank you again for your help, and, and it's going to get better each day. So nice work, Vipers. Advisory schedule. This week we'll do another week of advisory. So advisory will be on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. On Friday, we reviewed safety procedures in advisory, and we will begin conducting our first safety drills of the year later this week. We will do a hold drill and a secure drill. So what is a hold? A hold is when everyone is in place due to an event in the building that we need to keep students in the classroom and hold them in a particular place. 
This is when we do not want traffic in that specific area. Everyone stays in their specific spot and normal classroom activities are able to continue. An, administer, an administrator makes an announcement to initiate a hold and to end and conclude a hold drill or a hold procedure. A secure is when something is happening outside of the building in maybe the neighborhood or across the street, but basically we want to keep outside traffic from coming in the building. Again, a secure is initiated through the intercom. Um, all uh, students and uh, classroom activity continues as normal. If we do have students outside on the fields, we do ask them to come inside the building at this time. And again, additional information is communicated through the intercom. So we'll do a hold and a secure drill later on this week. So we just wanted to let you know what they, what they were prior to the drill. Bathroom availability. We have bathrooms open uh, all day in the courtyard, A courtyard, the B wing courtyard, the C wing courtyard, the D wing courtyard. These are always open to, to students as the school day is going. The E wing bathrooms are also always open throughout the day. We also have two single stall bathrooms uh, in the front office that are also available to public and to students as, as well. And then our North cafeteria bathrooms are open during lunches only. That's where we keep the lunch uh, traffic. Um, that's where they can go use the bathroom during lunches. Our lunch schedule. Now that we're in the, the thick of things and schedules are starting to, to not change as much. Just a reminder that Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, our A lunch has classes in the B wings, the C wings, and the E wings. B, uh, B lunch on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is for A wing, D wing, field house, and PE classes. Wednesday is a little bit different because we have the, the earlier release, but A lunch on Wednesday is for B wing, E wing, and D wing. And B lunch on Wednesday is for the PE classes, A wing classes, C wing classes, and the field house classes. Lunch is 40 minutes uh, each day, so students have plenty of time to make their way through our seven windows and two carts open to serve items. All of the windows serve the exact same items. It's a variety of whether it's the, the school lunch or the a la carte items. There is one cart in the West Cafeteria Courtyard that is exclusively Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Um, and again, reminder, lunch is not free this year. Uh, so if you are interested in applying for the free and reduced lunch program, please use the link that's found here in these slides. If your student, for whatever reason, does just need a free lunch uh, any day of the week, just make sure that when they go up to the uh, lunch line, when they get to the, the server, just let the server know that they need an alternative lunch. Uh, our serving staff will make sure that the students get an opportunity to get something to eat, and it will be free of charge. So in the event, if you you know, forgot your money or, or for whatever reason, you just need a, a free lunch. That's what you will, will do. Ask for the alternative lunch. Fall sports are starting up. Make sure you have all of your register my athlete information complete and submitted. Uh, you are not able to try out or practice if your info is not submitted. Please email Mr. Showman, myself, or uh, Ms. Goodwin if you need assistance. These are our email addresses right here. We can help you with the program. Uh, there is a fall sports kickoff on Saturday, August 20th at 9 a.m. in the Verado High School Auditorium. You get a quick introduction from myself talking about the importance of athletics and the role of players, coaches, and parents. And then also we will go break out into uh, team-specific coaches, parent, and player meetings. So we'll see all of our fall athletes and, and families at Verado High School on August 20th. Practice begins for Boys and Girls Swim tomorrow, August 15th. Girls Volleyball tryouts have completed, and they are now in their practice schedule, getting ready for their first match. Boys Golf tryouts begin tomorrow, August 15th. Girls Golf uh, tryouts begin tomorrow on August 15th as well. Cross Country for Boys and Girls practice begins tomorrow on August 15th. Palm, there's a two, there are two prep clinics for uh, any athletes interested in trying out for POM, those prep clinics are the 15th and the 16th, and then the official tryout will be on August 19th. Cheer tryouts have concluded and the cheer team has been assembled. Their practices now uh, begin. Marching band, official practice is starting. Make sure that for marching band uh, students, your Register My Athlete is also uh, completed and submitted through the Register My Athlete program. Badminton tryouts begin tomorrow and go 15th, 16th, and 17th. 
And football practice officially has started. It started last week, so practice continues for the football team. All right, on to some events. Uh, the first Spirit Week of the year and our first assembly are coming soon. The week of August 22nd to the 26th will be a Spirit Week. More info will come out this week from the Verado High School student government. And the first assembly will be on August 26th during Viper Connect from 11 to 1140. Club Rush is an event where we get to promote and showcase all the student clubs on campus and also teach students how to start a club of their own. Club Rush will take place during both lunches on August 24th. Family Academy and Special Programs Night is coming soon. This is an event on August 24th from 6 to 7.30. There will be special program presentations uh, from 6 to 6.45, and then Family Academy presentations from 6.45 to 7.30. And we'll have more information in the next week's update regarding what those presentations will include. Site Council meeting. Site Council, uh, the first event of the year will be on August 22nd from 6 to 7 in the Innovation Lounge. It's an open invite. Anyone is welcome to attend. Please use this link to RSVP for the event. Site Council is an opportunity to see what's going on in uh, our building, to hear about some of our initiatives and programs, and also for us to get some feedback from the community on how we're doing. So your role is valuable in this, and we hope you can uh, join us for Site Council on August 22nd. So we're wrapping things up. Just a reminder that if you have questions uh, regarding classroom practices, grades, uh, instructional practices, anything at the classroom level, start with your student's teacher. Reach out to the teacher. Teachers will get back to uh, parents within 48 hours. Most uh, teachers won't be responding after 5 p.m., though, um, as they also need to have an opportunity to unplug and be with their families and also to get ready for the next day. So if you send a late email, uh, you should get a response within the next day or two from that teacher. And again, make sure that you contact the attendance line if your student is going to be absent. Your student's attendance matters and it is required this year. So make sure that if your student's going to be out, call that attendance line. All right, that's it for this week. We hope everybody had a great first week back and we're going to make the second week even better. So that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected, Vipers. And let us know if you need anything. Have a great rest of your Sunday and let's make it a great week. One Verado.